and change lives for the better. But our I team is finding out how access can be denied when innovative devices or treatments are not covered by insurance. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles found out why this is happening. Jason. Well, it's because they could be considered experimental. That includes high-tech robotic arms like this one. A local woman reached out to the IT when her insurance company said access denied to something she believes will change her life. Is your hand a luxury? If you lost it, would you want it back? Raquel Skaggs perseveres with partial limbs as a project engineer on a construction site. We're cutting the roadway out. She uses these prosthetic legs and one day hopes to have better function of her left arm. I would be able to come out here with my iPad or my laptop. The solution, according to her and her prosthetic practitioner, is this $90,000 high-tech mechanical arm. However, there's no way I could pay for it out of pocket. Her insurance provider, Blue Cross, Blue Shield is denying her coverage, saying it is experimental. And she says this other clamp-like device is what insurance reps said may get approved instead. I was born with amniotic band syndrome, and it just prevents growth. Um, so it affected all four of my limbs. Skaggs and her practitioner say this mechanical arm would be life-changing. The individual five digits that actually move, I could... I'd be able to straighten my hair and not, you know, burn myself. I mean, things that you don't think about. Tying my shoes this morning. Here she does it, testing out that robotic device. Her practitioner and Skaggs both believe that this device would actually save the insurance company money later by preventing more health care for arthritis. She's been in therapy for the past couple months for low back, shoulder, and hip pain. It's a nationwide issue. A representative for the Amputee Coalition says most insurance companies are denying high-tech prosthetics. They are more likely to approve a body-powered device, for example, than they are something that has uh, electrical components or, or things like that that might be more costly but provide uh, potentially significantly more uh, functionality and, and independence. And it goes beyond prosthetics. All health insurance policies uh, have some type of limits. University of Illinois at Chicago public health expert Anthony Lasasso says whether it's a new procedure or piece of equipment, most carriers only cover the basics. And that tends to omit things that are considered experimental. Uh, or investigational. As for Skagg's dispute, Blue Cross Blue Shield said in a statement, a prosthesis with individually powered digits, including but not limited to a partial ham prosthesis, is considered experimental, investigational, and or unproven. And that is determined by medical policies based on peer-reviewed scientific literature, criteria developed by specialty societies, and from guidelines adopted by other healthcare organizations. They've talked about the, the item is, you know, the prosthetic hand would be a luxury, it's not needed. BCBS also says like all patients, Skaggs has the right to appeal, and her practitioner did. Listing and citing what he calls evidence showing that the arm is not experimental or investigational. Also saying multi-articulating digit prosthetic hands have been an established technology since 2007. The Illinois Department of Insurance has upheld the insurance company's denial. Just take one hand and tie it behind your back for an entire day. You would see the difficulties and maybe rethink the, the approval process. Health experts also say companies behind technologies have a responsibility to get new treatments and equipment to patients at a lower cost. That's because once they're documented as being used, they may not be considered experimental. If you're being denied, you can try to make a case to your insurer that the new treatment will save them money in the long run. We put more tips on our website on what you can do to appeal. We also have some video clips on there as well. Uphill battle, it seems. That's yeah. for sure. Fascinating. Very interesting A vicious cycle. Yeah. All right, yeah. Jason. Thank, Thank you. you.